What's up guys, Lucas here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick comparison review between a NordVPN and TunnelBear. Um, so if you've been wondering which is the better VPN service, then you are in the right place. Um, now at first glance, NordVPN versus TunnelBear hardly seems like a fair comparison. Um, TunnelBear only has around 2,600 servers in 40 countries, while NordVPN has twice as many servers in more than 60 countries for users to choose from. Still, a TunnelBear commands a good user base, and it has a free VPN that entices millions of users. Also, it works in China, something that only a few other VPNs can claim to do. NordVPN, on the other hand, has made a name for itself and is now one of the biggest VPNs on the market today. So how do these two VPNs actually compare with one another? Well, keep watching to find out and be sure to check out the discount link below to help you save some extra money. Okay, as usual, I kicked off my testing by looking at the speed of each VPN. Um, and I did find that TunnelBear is fast, but NordVPN is faster. Um, actually, TunnelBear was surprisingly fast in spite of the few servers that it has in comparison, but it's still nowhere near as fast as Nord, which is one of the fastest VPNs at the moment. Also, TunnelBear takes longer to connect and its ping is significantly higher. Um, next, I looked at the quality of their server networks and found that NordVPN's server network is far bigger and way more diverse. In fact, NordVPN has more than 5,200 servers spread across 60 countries, while TunnelBear has 2,600 VPN servers located in 40 different countries. So Nord's network size ensures that you won't be clogged with many other users on the same server, and that way you can connect to almost any region in the world. And then a few bonus features with NordVPN include special servers like torrenting, uh, double VPN, anti-DDoS, and dedicated IP servers. And with these, you can accomplish whatever you need in stream Netflix and other streaming platforms. Now, as for the quality of customer support with each company, NordVPN wins out over TunnelBear. Fortunately, both Nord and TunnelBear provide sufficient installation and troubleshooting guides as well as facts. Um, however, the most important thing for customer support is how easy it is to reach out to the support team and the quality of their service. And while NordVPN gets all the support areas right, TunnelBear's support service is almost non-existent. Uh, first of all, TunnelBear doesn't offer live chat support. The only way you can reach them is through a ticket system and you might wait hours to get a reply. NordVPN, on the other hand, offers a 24-7 live chat support so that users and potential customers can always talk to an agent. There's also an email and ticketing system that can assist you with technical challenges within two hours. Um, and then as far as user experience, I found that Nord is a simple program to use. Downloading and installing goes quickly, and then all you need to do is log in with your username and password, and you're all set. From there, you can customize your connection with features such as a kill switch, uh, double VPN, onion over VPN, cybersecurity, anti-DDoS, and DNS and IP leak protection. Um, and you can easily connect to a server by selecting one from the map on the main screen. Uh, connecting only takes a few seconds, and I didn't experience any issues with the apps. With TunnelBear, it will only take you a few minutes to create an account and set up the app on your laptop or smartphone. Uh, then once you log in, you'll find the VPN to be extremely user-friendly. So easy setup and the cute bears that will tunnel on screen make it fun to use. Um, and to change your location, you can just click on the tunnel icon on the map and the bear will dig a tunnel for you so you can start browsing from anywhere. Unfortunately, you won't have as many features to choose from because tunnel bear tends to keep things simple. Uh, but there is a kill switch and a ghost bear, which is the VPN's obfuscation technology. Also, it's nice that the smartphone app resembles the desktop app and it's just as easy to use. And then finally, as far as pricing, both VPNs are available for a little over $3. Actually, you can get the Nord VPN for just under $4 per month if you sign up for their two-year plan, or TunnelBear charges just under $4 per month for its three-year plan. So overall, NordVPN offers better value in terms of cost and features. Also, Nord includes one more device connection totaling six versus TunnelBear's five device limit. And then NordVPN also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, which TunnelBear does not offer. So which VPN should you choose? Well, from my tests and analysis, it's clear that TunnelBear has a long way to go before it can compete with NordVPN. So I suggest that you go for NordVPN to get a more complete package at a better price. So hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please feel free to give a thumbs up as that always makes my day. And just a reminder, if you're interested in giving NordVPN a try, please be sure to check out the special discount link I'll put down in the description area below so that way you can save some extra money. Also, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the cyber family. Be sure to stay safe out there, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.